Now, there seems to be a, misconce a, mis a miscommunication here. Because it's the month of October. And uh, somebody, some people don't quite understand this. Is this thing is, I'm done. If you haven't, if they haven't called me back this month, I'm done. And even if they call me back in October, because it took, because it took this long and it's this close, I'm more likely going to tell them to go pick, go screw themselves. Now, if you haven't seen my mannerism, and you haven't deciphered my mannerism, well, it's your fault, you know? It's your fault. Now, as a Marine... I'm the type of person to tell a colonel to go screw themselves. You know? When I was at that debacle in D.C., I wasn't afraid to call a senator an idiot. I wasn't afraid to call a general an idiot, a <laughs> president, a congressman. If they're an idiot, they're an idiot. <laughs> Flat out. <laughs> If they're an idiot, they're an idiot. You know? And like I said, it's October. And One of the things that I'm doing not that it's October is I'm celebrating. Yeah, I'm in celebratory mood. Now where is it? Ah, oh, right there. Hold on. Oh, here it is. I'll take this out. Mm. <laughs> See? <laughs> I'm in celebration. <laughs> there ain't shit they could do. They can't call me back. And first things foremost, the reason they can't call me back is because I'm 35 years old. <laughs> I'm 35 years old. They can kiss my behind. You know? <laughs> There ain't shit they can do. I don't give a fuck. And you know the best part about it is? <laughs> they know who I don't give a fuck. <laughs> Second reason they called they can't call me back is because I've already fulfilled my obligation long before the Jack Fornicacy. So they have to they can't tell me to come back. They have to ask me to come back. <laughs> they have to ask me to come back after this month. Actually, no, after the middle of this month, really. I do believe it's the 15th or the 16th. They have to ask me to come back. I mean, they still have to ask me to come back before, but they really have to ask me to come back after. 
See, I didn't say killing, I didn't say anything about uh, harming Red Pilgrim. I meant simps. You know? I meant simps. Now, I made a, made a mistake in communication. That, if you haven't seen in my videos, that's common. <laughs> now, I ain't afraid to put myself in the lion's den, or the lion's den, because I'm so far removed from the dating market that women, I, I've come to expect it, you know? I could put myself in, a, in the lion's den of debates with women because whatever Jack Fornica see, it's going to happen. It's going to happen. I just got to be ready for it. You know? I just got to be ready for it. You know? And... If I get into a debate with a woman, I let them say their piece, and then I say, let them say their piece. And the thing is, it's what it is. The thing is, I'm not worried. I've almost, like I said, I fricasseed my, you know, I mean, I've, I've all, I fricasseed almost all my uniforms. But, there's some, there's, I mean, they, and they know it. And they know it. I have made myself a tactical, I've made myself tactically, what's the word I'm looking for? Because I have a whole lot of words in my head. I've made myself tactically... I've made myself tactically... What's the word? Obsolete. You know? Because... Well, not, obs not obsolete, but you get the picture. Tactically defunct because all of my uniforms are somewhere in that ash pit, like right down there, somewhere in that smoke pit. Because I, I, I did that in September, <laughs> I did that in September. <laughs> well. Like I said, I'm at the point in my whole, in my life, in my career, that they have to ask me to come back, you know? And now that it's October 1st, they have to ask me to come back. After October, I think it's 15th or something, they have to beg me. And... <laughs> I mean, I understand. I understand if you won't help me. Let me, me tell Master Reese, but I will help you. I understand if you won't help me if I'm getting my behind whoop. But I will help you. And it's not because I'm legally, not because, and I will render aid for you. You know? I will help you fend them off. Heck, if you need a weapon, I'll hand you a weapon. Knowing that it's probably going to get stuck stuck in my back, but I will hand I will get I will hand you a weapon and I will help you with 
whatever I have. You know? Because even without the uniform, that was, that was me. My original reason to join the Marine Corps was to die. Flat out. My dad had died when I, when I, before I joined. My original reason to join the Marine Corps was to die. You know? The only reason I was in the National Guard was... Because I had the, I had the pro, had a problem. My problem was is I was having trouble adjusting to civilian life. You know. And I was well adjusted on my first contract. Second contract was see what had to see what happens. On the national second contract with the National Guard was see what happens. You know, that's the thing. And I know, I knew that once I went, once this stuff, this craziness happened, I had to make some adjustments behind the scenes. I had to make some job changes and some, some final adjustments, you know, some place that's local in the area <clears throat> so that I can come, so I can come somewhere. I can go somewhere like a, a hotel, a local hotel, a friend's house, family member's house, to kind of to make some moves around, make some moves, you know. But I understand that if you won't help me, but I will help you. You know, I will help you, and that goes beyond the call nine one one. You know why? I may be red pill. I ain't still ain't got. I mean, I still ain't got no wife. I still ain't got a girlfriend, and it don't look like it's gonna happen. And I'm and I'm more than okay with it. You know. Like I said, I'll I'll, I'll, I'll help you out. I'll, I'll stop help you out. I'll even hand you a knife. I know it's probably going, I mean, it knows the likelihood it's going to get st stuck in my back, but hey, it is what it is. All over a misconception, miscommunication. It's okay. I understand. Like, I understand. Maybe there's a miscommunication, maybe I said something wrong. But it's okay. Like I said, you might not help me, want to help me, I'll help, but I will help you. I will do my best. I may go down with you. I may not survive. And after the after the battle's over, I may be I may be join, I may be face down in the gutter. But hey, guess what? It's okay. No hard feelings. <clears throat> at least at least I helped somebody out. This is Red Pill in the Wind. Signing off.